Hi, I'm Pace22, and I'm here today to help you with a basic setup for your streaming career. First of all, you're going to want to start off to see if your internet is even fast enough to allow this. You're going to want to go to speedtest.net or a similar site to make sure that you have an upload speed capable of streaming properly at a good enough bitrate and quality. Uh, I recommend at least starting with a 5 Mbps, which stands for megabits per second on your upload. I streamed like that for quite some time and had some great quality. I ended up upgrading it to about 20 and I have really no problems running at the highest settings. After you do this, you're going to want to try to find some streaming software. There's a couple different options that are free. You can use Streamlabs. You can use Stream Elements. Or you can use XSplit. Those are the three most common options that I've seen for streamers. I personally use Streamlabs OBS. Uh, it's a very good program. I am actually recording on it right now to show you this tutorial. Uh, they have a good support team and I do recommend them personally. I don't have too much experience with Stream Elements or XSplit, but I've heard other streamers use them and they are quite effective. After this, you're gonna to wanna to find out what your hardware is capable of. Uh, there's a good resource on uh, Twitch's website. Uh, that link is stream.twitch.tv backslash encoding. And they have a really good comprehensive list of what you should be streaming in for your hardware and your upload speeds. A very useful tool, I highly recommend that. Uh, you guys should be able to find most of your information there and make some good adjustments depending on your specific uh, hardware and upload speeds. One thing I cannot stress enough is you need to have a very good microphone. I personally use a Blue Yeti. Uh, a lot of streamers do use that. Tons of different options for this. Um, you can go look at some reviews, ask some other of your friends or other streamers what they use, check out their equipment page and see uh, what you like when you watch their streams. Very important that you have a good microphone. Uh, starting streaming, I've had a, a bunch of different ones as I've progressed through, and uh, I just noticed the uh, it's much better quality, people enjoy it a lot more, and I really can't stress enough uh, spending a little bit extra to get that good piece of uh, mic hardware to, to boost your stream capacity. So you need to find your stream key, which will be located on your Twitch account. Uh, you will go onto your settings page, find your stream key, and then make sure that you place that into your streaming software. That way the two can link up and you'll be able to uh, get that stream out uh, broadcasted from, from your channel. Lastly, you're gonna want to have a streaming schedule. You wanna set where you are, making sure that you have a, a tight schedule so you're streaming consistently. Uh, that's one of the best things you can do as a streamer is make sure that uh, you have a, a scheduled uh, layout of days and times where people know you're gonna be live and they can come watch your channel day in and day out. Be interactive with your chat. Make sure you acknowledge people, especially early on for following and uh, subscribing, etc. cetera. Uh, I can't stress enough having two monitors as a streamer is pretty much a must at this point uh, in this era, being able to read your chat and interact with everyone as you go. Um, these tips I hope were very helpful for you. Uh, I know there's going to be a lot more information uh, spread across some of the other content creators and I hope that you guys get what you needed out of this video. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, hit up the comments and hopefully someone will be there to help you out with your issues. Thank you for watching the channel and I hope you uh, have a good time on your streaming career. Good luck out there.